Thank you, Faith. Actually, what I want to say is I'm actually here to listen because our country and specifically our government needs to listen more to what's happening to the cops in Egypt. We have just come, my colleague and I, from a meeting about what happened in Maspero, and not enough people know what is going on and what may happen even further if we do not stand up and defend your human rights as we understand them. The organization that I work with, the Center for Security Policy, has been trying to expose the uh, activities of organizations like the Muslim Brotherhood and those organizations that are trying to suppress human rights. And sometimes we find ourselves at odds with our own government. What you have said decisively today is we are here and we are not going away. And I think you understand that whether you speak English or Arabic or neither one. We will stand with you and we hope to bring this issue to Congress. But I, I, I can tell you this, as I walked, uh, I walked up here, I walked up here with many of your own people, and many of them are American citizens, and of course many of them are not being listened to, because at this point in time in our history we're paying more attention to elements in societies and countries like Egypt and Iran that want to do harm to our country and your people than we are to people that want to stand with us and people who came to this country for the human rights that are no longer being provided to you in Egypt. We're going to do what we can to turn that around. So thank you for being here today. And I look forward to listening to all of you. Thank you. God bless you. Stop funding the Egyptian army. We are from the Christian News. Stop funding the Egyptian army. This is the Christian News channel. We have a so great view. Sure. Can you please interview? Just to introduce yourself. Please. My name is Fred, Fred Grandy. I'm a former member of Congress, and I work now with an organization in the United States called the Center for Security Policy, which spends a lot of time trying to expose the workings of the Muslim Brotherhood and those organizations that are trying to suppress rights in the Middle East for minorities and are even working in this country to undermine basic human rights and constitutional liberties for Americans. And what steps do you think this organization will do to help with the minorities in the Middle East? The first thing we hope to do, and this is something we hope to do um, sooner rather than later, is get members of Congress to start paying attention to this. The process in this country is if our legislature, our, our Congress, begins to highlight what is really going on, because as you probably are aware, the media is not covering this the way we feel it should. Then the next step would be to say to Egypt, which has been an ally of ours for decades, why are we providing you over the last 30 years $70 billion of military aid if you are using it to oppress your own people? So at some point, I would hope that we would be able to persuade the Congress and maybe even the administration or, I want to or another project. administration to, to say, all right, if you want aid from the United States, you have to protect the human rights of your minorities. And especially that this aid comes from the tax money of all these people, and we are oh. paying the money to kill our own brothers at the end. So we really need these organizations to step in yeah. because there is no way I'm paying my taxes and the government is getting this money to kill my own brothers. You're, Amer you're an American citizen. I'm an American so citizen. You're I'm taxes initially the way I am exactly. to essentially underwrite the uh, the massacres that took place at Maspro. Right. Um, well, how do you see the future will happen during the next few months because of your organization and whatever well, is happening? Well, we are a small organization, but we are working with a lot of other organizations that are trying to increase focus on this. Right now, as I'm sure you're aware, American foreign policy is more focused on really the, the, the politics uh, of um, the Muslim world than they are of the Christian world. And they're not paying attention to, I think, the suppression that's obviously happening in Egypt, has already happened in Iraq. 
there's not a single Christian church in Afghanistan anymore. That's true. And we need we need a larger collective voice. And I, I I've got to tell you, I'm I am astonished, delighted, and and uh, gratified that so many people turned out here today because this is a force that has to be reckoned with. Do you see that this force and this number of people will reach out to the Congress the way that you want it to reach? I hope so. I hope so. You know, a protest is great, but that's just the beginning. What happens then is constant pressure on your elected representatives to focus on this. Uh, and, and believe me, um, this is something that your opponents have learned for years. Yes. Organizations that are very uh, in favor of, of the kind of oppressive Islamic causes have a much stronger lobby in this country. And unfortunately, it's now taken something like what's happening in southern Egypt to focus this, but it's got to continue. So I wish you all great Thank success. you so much. To Good to, to meet you, sir. Thank you for coming.